The MOVE program established by RPE back in 2012 is for methane opportunities for vehicular energy and it was all about increasing the adoption of natural gas as a transportation fuel in the U.S. since we are 17th in the world in using natural gas as a transportation fuel. I can tell you that we would not exist today if it wasn't for RPE. They launched us truly in September of 2014. We were bootstrapping the company up until that time and we really had no capital. We talked to investors and other sources, but private capital does not exist for companies at that stage, especially when you're just taking technology recently developed out of a university setting and really trying to hone in on that first product to market. Once we were able to secure the funding from ARPA-E in September of 2014, we were really able to focus on those activities associated with commercializing the technology out of the university setting and into the marketplace. That is the goal of ARPA-E. If it works, will it matter? And we focused on doing things like the lean business model and really securing outside partnerships in order to further the company's progress. With our first product to market, which is called the GoFlow Mobile Natural Gas Compressor, we are targeting fleets of all kinds of shapes and sizes, medium duty and heavy duty fleets that you would find in waste hauling businesses, school bus districts, anybody who wants to actually reduce their fuel costs and cut emissions. The GoFlow Mobile Natural Gas Compressor brings many benefits to our customers. First of all, it does not require electricity, which really brings the opportunity for resiliency, uh, lower operating expenses, it has the ability to back up or supplement an existing fleet using natural gas, and it really is a more affordable solution. Natural gas is cleaner, it's cheaper, it's wildly abundant here in the U.S., and it really presents a domestic security benefit to this country if we use more natural gas as a transportation fuel. Over the last 10 years, we've watched a transition with electricity generation go from coal to natural gas. We are poised to witness, in the world of transportation, the same transition happening between diesel and alternative fuels. Natural gas is really the most logical choice for the fleet market. One of the obstacles in using natural gas as a transportation fuel is refueling. Our technology breaks that barrier. There are 335 million commercial vehicles on the roads today, and over 90% of them are using diesel. That transition to natural gas is gonna be clear and logical. We see the growth happening from 24 million natural gas vehicles to 32 million vehicles by 2025, and we will be the company that drives that growth.